If you're looking to get your best solo cash cow placement, this video is for you. And that's because this was also my best solo cash cow placement ever. And I'm going to be VOD reviewing and showing you guys why that was the case. I stream this all live right here on my YouTube, so subscribe with post notifications so you guys know when I'm streaming. Onto the video. So game one, I was trying to rotate off my draw spot since it's a really bad location to be in. And then this weirdo decided to shoot me. So I bloom fought him a bit and then realized this was not a good bloom fight to take. So then I played off of this wall and then realized he had no mats. And then I just and then since he had no mats and he was literally in the middle of the ocean, I was able to get a free kill. Stupid! Oh my god! For no reason, this dude just decided to attack my base. So I decided to use the rift and go away from the fight. But for some reason, I felt like being weird, so I went down and used his rift too. And then I realized that he still has one rift left. But I was weak, so I probably should not go for this. But if he still has one rift left, this is all pretty much for nothing. So I decided to attempt to use a rift one last time to screw up his game. But instead, I died. Just so you guys know, karma is always a thing. Game 2, this was such a long off spawn fight and he had such more heals and mats than me. Oh but still he God, ended up bro. losing cause he got impatient. Happens, Here I found a llama but did not know there was a dude there and I'm pretty sure he thought the same thing. But then we saw each other at the same time and we played it slow. But Storm was coming so he decided to push me and I kinda boxed him and hit him for 100. Then since he had a jump shock, he obviously jumped in my box but cause I'm a good shock name. I was able to kill him. I used the cannon to get into zone and then I boxed up right next to this But he was playing so weird he just kept on attacking my floor and I made the mistake to just hold it. Instead I probably should have gone for a few shots cause I ended off with 400 brick and then when I rotated I only had around 150 brick left cause I used around 250 brick just holding my floor. Let's go! And the reason I boxed up here is cause as soon as half and half appeared I could just cannon into the next zone. I played this endgame pretty bad in the beginning. I thought that at least one of the people around me would have a pad, but none of them ended up having a pad. So we were all kind of screwed up on the rotate. Is that worth? I don't know. And since I was in the back and the zone oh, pulled kinda in a right. weird way, I was able to get kind of a free rotate on onto the first movie. And then since I had mats and I was on the edge, I could just keep on stereotyping into next zone pretty deeply. Oh, the pad thing is not a thing. Cut it, cut it. It's just my finger, bro. Then as you can see from my hand cam, I left my hands off my keyboard for a few seconds and I got beamed and then pushed and died because of that. Game 3, I was kind of fighting this dude for a while and I saw a free shot, hit him for 111 and then he backed off and I kept him pushing him. I jumped in his box and since I had no SMG, I used my AUG, hit him for 49, then 33. And then 33 one last time and, and since he had a combat SMG, I died. What I learned for this match is what? always carry an SMG. No. And in that situation, How? I probably should have used my harpoon instead. Game 4, I edited it out because I heard a pad. I looked for the pad and then a new person padded. So since that was closer, I just used that. And that put what me in a it? good position for first moving. No. Then I played it smart and I just kept on running dead side until I got right into zone. Then I just boxed up, waited for next zone, which was a max moving zone. But still, I just played it slow, played it slow and played it dead side. And then I find some loot, so I go for the loot, and this other guy is also going for the loot. So I just try to jump in his box, and then I kill him, and that puts me in a good and bad position, right? I take a bit of time looting for no reason, right? And I stay back. Instead, I probably should have rotated earlier, and then this dude jumped in my box, and since he had a jump shotgun and I had my SMG, he killed me. No, Instead, what I right. probably should have done ah, is just geez. held uh, or rotated early. Game 5. For some reason, I get contested by two people off spawn. But it's fine because I'm able to kill them both. Oh 
Oh my god, he got some legendaries. And then later on the game, nothing really matters what happens in the fight. All you need to know is I kept on trying to disengage, but he just wouldn't let me. So at the end, he jumped in my box to get a drum shotgun. I didn't have a shotgun, so I died. What I learned from this match is always keep a shotgun no matter what your loot is. Game 6, I make this dude weak and then he runs away and hides. I don't know where he is and then I go to the roof and oh there he is. I get God, a free kill off spot. God. Later on to the game, for no reason, there's just this dude hiding here. But it's fine because I'm able to leave the building safely. And then there's this big build fight. I'm overall winning in health and damage. But then, just my build just decides to not place for some reason. And I fall to my death. Game 7, I was just chilling over here fishing and I saw this dude. Then I went for a shot, hit him for 30, and then he peeked again, and then I double dinked him and hit him for 30 once again. So I decided to push, knowing it was probably a good fight to take. And for mainly the whole time, it was a good fight until my visual sound effects told me a glider was coming in. Then I realized that this was not a good fight to be, especially with not a lot of mats. So I tried to hit him midair, thinking that he could potentially run away. He ends up in my box, and not only that, as soon as I break my ramp, he phases below his ramp and one pumps me. Whenever there's a long distance third party, you, you have to make sure he's shooting your opponent and not you. And the way you do that is make sure he can't see you. Since I was positioned like this, the third party wasn't able to see me, meaning that the only person he could shoot was my opponent. And because of that, when he was caught off guard, I jumped in his box and I killed him. When you know a fight's about to start and you can't avoid it, make sure you always shoot first. And once again, I positioned it so the third party would shoot him from the back and I'll shoot him from the front. So he would get double teamed and then he goes to a safe spot where the wall is mine and I kill him. Whenever someone jumps in your box and you're weak, still try to escape the box. Because if you try to go for the 50-50 when you're weak, you're 100% losing. Look at how I played this. So I know he's gonna try to jump in my box, so I should escape the box. Then when I escape the box, all the edits are mine, except for one wall. And then with the one wall, I try to have it boxed, so if he tries to edit off that, I still have him boxed once again. And then, since I have a box, I just play off of that and kill him. I don't know what this kid was doing, he just rammed his car into my box. And then I tried to kill him, I just couldn't see him because of the car. He got hit for so much during this process and wasted so much mats because he got server focused right after. Don't be branded like him. The way I look at launch pads is each launch pad is one zone. So since I had three pads, I should easily be able to make it. And then when I was landing, make sure you try to go dead side if possible. The way dead side works on moving zones is whichever part is the most farthest into storm, that's what dead side is. And then first moving was a max distance zone, but so I padded it. And then when I landed, I made a really small box when I had mats to build a full box. But I just was greedy because I knew I was going to leave the box anyway. Don't be greedy for stupid stuff like that. And then when I rotated, I saw a potential loo and mat. So I went for it and just kept on tunneling to zone past that. Then I saw real loo to harpoon. So I destroyed the walls with my SMG so it would have not costed harpoon shots to harpoon the loo. And then next zone, I got zone. So I just played edge and kept on hugging the zone. It's my base. No, it's not. Okay. And then right as I found a spot to perfectly pad onto zone, I saw someone else pad, so I just went for their pad instead. And then I just saw free tarp, so I went inside of it. Knowing that someone else could probably edit on me, so I was aware of that and had my shotgun out the whole time. And then I also wanted to get some kills, so I just decided to third party this fight and got a free kill. Then finally, I found a good spot to pad, and so I padded, but whenever you pad and aren't going for a height, you should be right under height, because if you're right under height, they can't shoot you and they won't focus you. And I saw a spot for a really good tarp, and when I tarped, I also saw a pad, so I just boxed up on the pad, and I was also lucky enough to get zoned back to me. Then after, I just kept on hugging edge, ramp tarping, and then when I saw good opportunities, I kept on dropping down.
Then when I saw this dude trapped and I realized all of the stuff around him was fully built metal other than my wasp. And then instead of going for the kill and maybe even getting weak or dying, I just hit him once and then knew he would have died to storm because of how much metal there was around him. Then after that, I had hit this dude before so I just got a free kill because he died to storm and then it was left off for a 1v1. Then I just played hype for a bit because there was nothing I needed to do because I had all the heals I needed to but I still wanted a kill. So I tried to just hit him once and that messed me up a lot because then I got 1 HP. But it's fine, I was able to pop a flopper because he was even weaker and I won the game. Let's go, that was the game we needed. Game 9, I hit him for 52, then I placed some builds, he does phase through him and I hit him 60 twice and then because of his drum shotgun, I died. And now this last game, I realized that I need... I need to make it a win if I want to qualify. Game, game 10, I go for some shots for no reason. Because then I realize that I'm center zone right next to some mats. So I just decided to box up. After I was done farming, when I went back to my base, I ended up getting beamed really hard. So I just box up, use both of my slurp fishes, try to get in the safe position because I really need to heal badly. And then I just make the dude go around all my boxes. Because I know this is all mine and I have all the edits to this. And I have a drum shotgun. Then when he gets it's on my base it's technically over cuz you know either I'm in your box or you're in my box there's no difference you dead either way and the way I played this end game was kind of just like I play the rest of my end games rotate early when you don't have a pad rotate dead sight build behind you and since it's going down a mountain make sure you're sliding And then as soon as zone was on my butt once again I full ran to zone and it actually ended up pulling back so I just played it slow when you get zone play it slow and play a little more back Calm down. And then this was actually a pretty good kill to take considering that he was right next to me so I could get the body and we were ahead in zone so it's not like Storm was gonna be behind us. But then at the end, I started to get a little more greedy for the kills and it went down. That was such a big mistake. Instead, I had a lot of mats and everything. All I needed to do was just stay up. And since I went for the kill, I was 1 HP and I just needed to play slow. But since I was really Ooh, weak geez, and I had no bro. white heals, ah, I got flanked I from behind oh, and died. There, Thank you guys for watching. I ended up placing 713. If you want to get better at Valorant or Fortnite, consider subscribing because I do upload helpful videos to make sure you guys are improving at both of those games. So consider subscribing, liking the video, and turning on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload. I do stream all of this right here. So if you guys want to see me live, come stop by my stream. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's it for the video. Later.